Hello everyone. This video presents another topic of the induction motors drive and control course. In this video, we are going to test the developed code for the soft start and soft stop and also for a speed adjustment of the induction motor. This is a no load test and in the next steps we will connect the motor to the load and also we will check the control method by applying the load torque. So in the previous test we used an H bridge inverter a single phase one just to check variation of the auto reload register and the capture compare register to adjust the frequency of the current. In this test, we are going to use this three phase inverter yes, to test the new code. In this course, we will learn how to design this three-phase inverter using the Simplorer software, right? How to select a proper MOSFET or IGBT depending on the ratings of this induction motor. And also we will learn how to design the PCB of this inverter using the KiCad software okay and how to prototype anyway in this test i apply 30 volts to the dc link because uh, i want to test the code and i don't need to apply the rated dc voltage now because in the case of any mistake we can damage MOSFETs. The DC link of this inverter is 310 volts that we will perform corresponding tests in the next videos. So this is the DC link and here are gate drivers. I am going to measure the current using this current clamp for this phase of the motor and now let's test here i developed also this python code to generate a graphic user interface for setting the motor parameters in this course also we will learn how to develop these kind of codes to make a standalone softwares, a standalone GUIs using the Python to communicate with the microcontroller. Even we can feedback the current waveforms and other waveforms that we need to plot the vector diagrams to evaluate the performance of the algorithm that we use for control of the motor that we will discuss in detail during the course. So let's run this code. Here is the GUI shell and we can test the motor we can run the motor or actually turn on the timer so let's run the motor this is the reference frequency i set it equal to 10 and set the frequency of the current and run the motor here I considered a constant value for the amplitude modulation ratio. So 
now let's turn off the motor here as you can see we have gradual reduction in the value of the frequency and finally we stop the timer when the frequency is lower than the minimum value so again i run the motor and i am going to change the motor speed during the working of the timer so 15 hertz yes then 20 so as you can see here when we increase the frequency the speed of the motor reduces because at the same time we should increase the value of the DC link or actually increase the amplitude modulation ratio but because in this test I considered the value of DC link equal to 30 volts yes I cannot rotate the motor at higher speeds even if I for example consider 30 hertz here right we have this current but we don't have any rotation if I change back to for example 14 yes we have rotation so yes you can try this test in this step to check the developed code and in the next test i am going to use the rated dc link voltage here to set the frequency of the current equal to 50 hertz the rated one so let's stop and continue for the next test thanks for watching